Guys, in this particular video, we are going to talk about how to select the perfect kind of RAM for your machine. So it doesn't matter if you're building a new one or if you are upgrading a 10 year old laptop, having a decent and correct kind of RAM is very important because the wrong kind of RAM will not work in your machine. Plus, most of them these days are non returnable. So I don't want your money to go waste. Let's start with the first point that is the generation. Earlier on, I remember in P2 and P3 days, that is Pentium 3 days. Yes, how many of you even remember that name? There was a thing called Pentium 2 or 3. We started with SD RAM. Then as the technology progressed, we came to DDR, that is double data rate RAM. And the RAM that we are using today is an advancement of DDR standard. For example, we get DDR2, DDR3, DDR4, 5. All right. And maybe if you are upgrading a very old laptop, it might still have DDR3 RAM inside it. The next point that you need to pay attention to is the frequency. Now I will highly recommend that you select a RAM that is matched with the existing RAM of which is already installed in your PC. For example, if your PC has DDR3 RAM running at 1600 megahertz, try to match that. Try not to go slower or faster than this. Now let me explain it to you how to check both of these things. So the first thing that we need to check is the generation. Second thing we need to check is the frequency. The first thing you can do is take a look at your laptops or your desktops documentation. It might be written over there. It might be in the user manual or if you remember the model number, you can simply Google it and then the results will come up and it will show you what kind of RAM it supports. If you don't want to do any of this, there's a very simple solution that you can use. There's this free little app called Specky. You can install it and go to the RAM section and there you can find out the generation as well as you can find out the frequency, which is the speed of the RAM. Now, whatever the frequency is mentioned over here, you need to multiply it by two and you can buy the RAM, which is mentioned in this particular multiplied frequency. For example, if it says 800 megahertz, you can multiply it by two, that is 1600. And whenever you search, say on your Amazon website or whatever, like from wherever you buy it, you can search for 1600 megahertz DDR3 RAM in this particular case. If the same frequency of RAM is not available, you can try going a notch higher. Generally, don't go a notch lower because what it will do is it will drop all of your existing RAM steps to the slowest amount of speed. So you can go with a step higher. The worst case, what will happen is that the higher frequency RAM that you purchased is going to drop down uh, to the speed of your existing RAM sticks. So these are backwards compatible. There shouldn't be any problem going with a slightly higher speed as long as they are in the same generation. Yes. So I'm not saying like if you have a DDR3 RAM slot, you can stuff DDR4 RAMs in it. No, it is not going to work. But within the same generation, you can play around a little bit with the speeds, with the frequencies, and it generally does not cause any kind of issues. The third point is quantity. Guys, today I will highly recommend even for a regular average use, go with at least eight gigs of stick. Okay, because as you can see, even if you have your browser open with uh, 10 tabs, that browser itself is going to eat away at least four or five gigs of your RAM. I have personally seen this. So there is absolutely no place for those four gig RAM sticks. You should at least go for eight gig 2023 and beyond. Let's talk about the next point that is dual channel or single channel. Guys, what dual channel does is that it will access both of your RAM sticks together provided you have two sticks and it is going to provide you with a little bit of speed boost and this kind of speed boost is generally observed whenever you are using your onboard graphics card that is your onboard GPU for gaming. So if you game using your onboard graphics, maybe if you have a laptop that does not have dedicated graphics, then dual channel RAM is very important. But there's one little uh, dilemma that you need to face over here. What will happen is say if you want to have eight gigs of RAM on your laptop. All right, so you will get two sticks of four gig each. And then the problem will be whenever the next time you try to upgrade this RAM, you'll have to throw those sticks out. They'll be useless because in the future you will buy eight gig into two or 16 gig into two. So here is a little bit of trade off. What I'll recommend is if you plan to upgrade in future and most of us do go with a single eight gig stick, forego the advantages of dual channel RAM for this uh, short amount of time and the next time when you add in another 8 gig stick it's going to give you a total of 16 gigs along with the activation of dual channel technology so that's the best of both worlds so 
let's come to the fifth point that is lamp voltage and since uh, ddr3 we started getting this uh, new little uh, you know specification which is known as low voltage ram for example we got ddr3 l now what happens is guys that the normal ddr3 ram works at 1.5 volt and whereas some laptops will request you to have ddr3 l which is low voltage ram and it works at 1.35 volts now the benefit over here is that as the voltage came down Okay, the power consumption came down and your laptop is going to have slightly better battery life. But here what is important is to buy the correct kind of RAM. Now normal DDR3 1.5 volt module will not work on laptops which are specifically asking for DDR3L that is the low voltage variety. On the other hand, the DDR3L that is the low voltage RAM will work on all kinds of laptops which accept 1.5 and 1.35 volt. So if you are confused what kind of uh, voltage or what kind of RAM to buy guys, there is one simple one line answer that you should always buy the low voltage that is 1.35 volt RAM because it is backwards and forwards compatible. Basically it works in all kinds of laptops which support that particular generation of memory. Let's come to the sixth point that is warranty and guys I see that many people are happy with the you know the various advertisements of lifetime warranty but this lifetime warranty thing is a little bit of gimmick this is the lifetime of that particular component not your own lifestyle so this is not your human lifetime okay it's the lifetime of that particular component for example for the ram it could be three years it could be five years roughly like that so whenever a brand claims to have a lifetime warranty this is generally what you get three years or five years so you better check the tnc whenever you buy a particular ram let's talk about the next point that is perks and features and 2023 and beyond there are lots of nice little things that have happened you know you got cool looking heat sinks you got some nice flashy leds you got rgb colors and all of that so i'll leave all of this up to you if you want to spend a bit of extra and have RGB decoration on your RAM, it's fine, it's your choice. What I'll do is I'll provide all kinds of affiliate buying links in the description below for variety of different RAM chips. You can buy any which you like and yes, please consider using my affiliate links to support this channel. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you liked the information. Take care and have a nice day.